Welcome to Vatican City, the smallest independent state in the world and the spiritual heart of the Catholic Church. In this video, we'll take you on a tour of seven must-see places in this tiny but culturally rich city. St. Peter's Basilica We'll start our tour with the most famous attraction in Vatican City, St. Peter's Basilica. This iconic church is not only the largest in the world but also one of the holiest. It's home to many of the world's most famous artworks, including Michelangelo's Pietà and Bernini's Baldacchino. Sistine Chapel Next, we'll visit the Sistine Chapel, which is located within the Vatican Museums. This magnificent chapel is renowned for its ceiling painted by Michelangelo, which depicts scenes from the Book of Genesis, and the Last Judgment fresco on the altar wall. The Sistine Chapel is one of the most iconic and beautiful attractions in Vatican City. It's located within the Vatican Museums, which themselves are a must-visit attraction for art lovers. The Sistine Chapel was built in the 15th century and is renowned for its stunning frescoes, most notably those on the ceiling painted by Michelangelo between 1508 and 1512. These frescoes depict scenes from the Book of Genesis, including the famous creation of Adam, in which God reaches out to touch Adam's hand. In addition to the ceiling frescoes, the Sistine Chapel also features a Last Judgment fresco on the altar wall. This massive painting was also done by Michelangelo in the 1530s and shows the second coming of Christ and the final judgment of humanity. The chapel itself is a beautiful space, with ornate decoration and a high vaulted ceiling. Visitors must be respectful of the chapel's status as a holy site, and must remain quiet and refrain from taking photos or videos while inside. The Sistine Chapel is open to visitors as part of the Vatican Museums, but be prepared for large crowds and long lines, especially during peak tourist season. It's a good idea to book your tickets in advance and arrive early to beat the crowds. Additionally, there are strict dress codes for visitors to the Sistine Chapel, so be sure to dress appropriately. Vatican Museums Speaking of which, the Vatican Museums themselves are a must-visit attraction for art lovers. They house an extensive collection of art and artifacts from ancient Roman sculptures to Renaissance masterpieces. St. Peter's Square, or Piazza San Pietro in Italian, is one of the most recognizable and iconic public spaces in the world. It's located directly in front of St. Peter's Basilica, which is one of the most important churches in Christianity. The square was designed by John Lorenzo Bernini in the 17th century and features a massive colonnade in the shape of an ellipse, which encloses the space and creates a sense of grandeur and unity. At the center of the square is an ancient Egyptian obelisk that was brought to Rome in the 1st century AD. One of the most notable features of St. Peter's Square is the two semicircular colonnades that frame the space. These colonnades are made up of four rows of Doric columns, and are designed to symbolize the outstretched arms of the church welcoming visitors from all over the world. The square is also the site of many important religious events and ceremonies, including the Pope's weekly Angelus Address, which is held every Sunday at noon. On special occasions, such as Easter and Christmas, the square is filled with thousands of worshippers and tourists from around the world. Visitors to St. Peter's Square can take in the impressive architecture and atmosphere of the space, as well as visit the various shops and cafes located around the perimeter of the square. It's also a great spot for people watching, as the square is always filled with an interesting mix of people from all over the world. Vatican Gardens For a peaceful respite from the crowds, we'll take a stroll through the Vatican Gardens. These lush green gardens cover more than half of the city-state and are filled with fountains, statues, and stunning views of St. Peter's Basilica. Castel Sant'Angelo. Next, we'll visit the iconic Castel Sant'Angelo, a towering fortress that dates back to ancient Rome. This impressive structure has been used as a papal residence, a prison, and now houses a museum with exhibits on its varied history. The Vatican Museums are one of the most popular tourist attractions in Vatican City, and for good reason. The museums are home to an incredible collection of art and artifacts that span thousands of years of human history. The Vatican Museums were founded by Pope Julius II in the early 16th century and have since grown to become one of the largest and most important art collections in the world. The collection includes works from some of the most famous artists in history, such as Michelangelo, Raphael, and Leonardo da Vinci. Some of the highlights of the museum's collection include the famous Sistine Chapel, which is adorned with stunning frescoes by Michelangelo, as well as the Raphael Rooms, which feature beautiful frescoes painted by Raphael and his students. Visitors can also see ancient Egyptian and Roman sculptures, medieval tapestries, and priceless works of art from throughout the Renaissance and Baroque periods. One of the most challenging aspects of visiting the Vatican Museums is dealing with the crowds. During peak tourist season, the museums can be extremely busy, with long lines and large crowds. 
It's a good idea to purchase tickets in advance and to plan to visit early in the day to avoid the crowds. Additionally, visitors should be prepared to spend several hours exploring the museums, as there is simply too much to see in just one visit. Ponte Sant'Angelo The bridge that leads to Castel Sant'Angelo, Ponte Sant'Angelo, is also a must-see attraction. It's lined with ten angel sculptures, each holding a symbol of the Passion of Christ. Vatican Necropolis Finally, for a glimpse into ancient Roman history, we'll visit the Vatican Necropolis. This underground burial site contains tombs dating back to the 1st century AD, including the reputed tomb of Saint Peter himself. Well, there you have it, seven must-see places in Vatican City. Whether you're interested in art, history, or simply soaking up the spiritual atmosphere of this unique city-state, there's something here for everyone.